How's it going, everybody? Ian back with another video. Today is a tag because I was not tagged by anybody, but I did see this tag on David Wiley's channel. Um, it is my favorite things tag. Um, and I decided, heck, I want to do this. This sounds fun. So let me tell you about my favorite thing. So first off, uh, this tag was created by Tori from Hufflepuff Discovery. Uh, I, like I said, I was not tagged by anybody, but um, I saw it and decided uh, I'm going to break the rules a little bit and do this uh, this tag. Uh, at least I don't no, I don't think I was tagged by anybody. Uh, but so here are the questions. So let's get right into it. There are th 16. All right, number one, who is your favorite musician slash band? Well, I would have to say my favorite band would be Blink-182. Uh, I don't really care for their newer stuff, though. I liked it back in the, the 2000s. Um, I liked that, Blink-182. Uh, they, they broke up a few times, so the original members are not all together again. That kind of sucks, but... Uh, I would say that, and then I was really, I'm, you know, I still am uh, into Lincoln Park, but obviously for uh, reasons that, that they, I don't know if they're going to be making music uh, anymore uh, with uh, Chester's death, uh, suicide. Um, so we'll have to see, but uh, they did say that they, they are going to make music, but I just don't know how you can, um, you know, catch that magic without uh, Chester Bennington. But uh, we'll see. I will definitely I'm very curious to see what they do. Um, but yes, so I would say those are my top two at least that uh, I always listen to uh, when I'm in that mood. All right, uh, two. What do your what? Okay, what are your top favorite films? Okay, so um, my okay. My, I know, I know my top two definitely, and I'm going to um, have some honorable mentions and my third one. So, uh, number one, my favorite film of all time, Saving Private Ryan. Um, I don't know how you can't like this. I mean, this this is absolutely phenomenal. This is the steel book. Uh, so you know, there's the back. And, uh, I don't believe the inside has. Well, it's got some stuff here got some pictures and stuff but um so number one is saving private ryan uh number two is grand torino uh and this definitely has some issues uh but uh, uh i really enjoyed it there's nothing on the back or in the in the but uh, yeah another steel book by clint eastwood's grand torino uh and number three i would have to say would be logan uh the wrap up of the Wolverine trilogy and or works, I guess. Uh, this is, this is probably the best superhero movie. It, uh, it, it, it's not even, I mean, it is technically a super movie, superhero movie, but I think if, if you're not a superhero fan, you can still enjoy this. And then, uh, like, uh, David, well, I have some honorable mentions. Um, of course, Lord of the Rings. This is the three, how, how do you, how can you choose, um, uh, between these three, so, uh, and then obviously, um, well, not obviously, this, I, I would say Avengers Endgame, but you need to watch all the rest of the MCU movies for this to really hit. Um, and if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm, if you've seen them all and you've seen Endgame, you know what I'm talking about is you need to have that context. You can't just watch Endgame. You can't even just watch Infinity War and then watch Endgame because Technically, to me, those are it's one movie. Endgame and Infinity War are one movie. It's part one and two, so I kind of combine those. But you can't watch that movie um, without watching any of the others. You're just not going to get the same thing. All right, do you have a favorite scent? Um, yes, uh, and I don't get that too much down here in Arizona. But when I was up in Minnesota, and I believe people from the Midwest could probably back me up, there is a scent... Um, when it's when it's fall and the, it's just it, it's it's pretty crispy outside, uh, you, you get out and you're you know you still you still might be in shorts but you're also in a sweater 
and when you step outside for the first time in the morning to go, usually, usually it was uh, when I got up to go to uh, my dad's to watch the Vikings game or something like that. Uh, waking up in the morning to go drive down to his house or the bar that we're going to go to to watch it. There is that crisp scent that it's just I don't know what it is. I can't really place. It's it's fall, you know. Uh, it's usually end of October early November there is that the snow has not fallen yet there is that 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 scent when you come right outside in the morning it's got to be in the morning uh yeah it's right in the morning so there's something like that uh I would say fall maybe what is your favorite Disney film all right I have one of those as well this would be the Lion King this is the uh the signature collection steelbook I got when it came out um but yeah, definitely The Lion King was my first uh, love. And then uh, Hercules. Hercules is really fun. I don't have it, though, I don't think. No. All right, what is your favorite season? Well, we don't get fall down here, but I would definitely say fall in Minnesota. Or that springtime when everything's melting and you, you're, when you, you, you know, you first put shorts and a t shirt You can finally go outside with shorts and a t-shirt on for the first time. That's pretty cool. It's like, oh, summer's coming. So... I, but I would definitely say fall. Fall is my favorite season. It's football. Football is my favorite sport. So, um, yeah, that fall, Christmas, I guess, you know. Favorite seasonal drink. Um, you know, the, nothing beats like a hot chocolate when it gets when it's a cold day. That's pretty good. I like daiquiris, but you can drink da daiquiris all over, all, all, the, all the time. You can drink hot chocolate all the time, but, you know, there's something about that. Um... Number seven, do you have a favorite shirt or article of clothing? I do. I do. Well, uh, so I've got uh, my Deadpool shirt on. I like that one. Uh, Deadpool shirt. But then I also, I, I bought this one a few months ago. And I like, I enjoy wearing it. Uh, this is, uh, it says um, uh, Panhandle Behavior. This is Small Town Murder Podcast. If you don't know what this is, it's uh, two guys, uh, James Petrogallo and Jimmy Wisman, they're both comedians, and they basically, you know, they're assholes, but not scumbags. Uh, they always say that, uh, so that's, I'm not just calling them out, that's what they say. Um, it's, they, it's small town murder, basically, they break down a, um, a murder that happened in a small town, so it's going to be under 30,000 people or less. Go check it out if you're into, like, it's a comedy podcast. They always say that they're scumbags or God damn, they're assholes, not scumbags. Um, go check it out. It's it's a comedy podcast because, but it's pretty dark sense of humor. But uh, you know, you know, it's it's pretty good. They don't make fun of the victim or the victim's family. They make fun of the murder. That's the key there. Go check it out. You'll see what I'm saying. But um, if you're into that type of comedy, I guess. You have that dark sense of humor, which some of us has to have. You just got to have it. All right. Uh, who is your favorite author? Well, it would have to be, I would have to say, I'm going to have to give it to Matthew Riley. This is his first book contest. This is, this is a pretty cool book. This is um, uh, basically, uh, uh, it's a battle royale. Uh, this is his first book. Basically, a bunch of aliens choose the, I think this is the Washington or oh, New York Public Library. Um, these aliens pick this New York Public Library to stage their their I think their it's their centuries um, battle royale, and this ha this happens to be the humans are going to participate with the aliens. So seven contestants enter, only one leaves for the um, I don't know what they win. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is his first book, and uh, it's awesome. All right. Do you have a favorite reading spot or a writing spot? Uh, it's just in this chair, in my chair. I can read pretty much wherever. I mean, I like a nice, comfy chair. What's your favorite food or dessert? My favorite food would be gyro. I think I talked about that last time. But uh, dessert is probably like banana cream pie or... Yeah, some sort of – I like banana cream pie. Favorite time of day? I don't know. I really don't have evening, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah. Uh, favorite color would probably be green. And uh, number 13, who's your favorite? Who's your top three favorite YouTube channel? So um, I like to watch uh, Video Game Donkey. It's pretty funny. Uh, there used to be a gaming channel called uh, The Gaming Lemon, and he doesn't do a whole lot le anymore, but uh, he's pretty funny. Uh, like book stuff, I, I like Mike's books reviews. Um, and and uh, Brian Lee Durfee's got a really good channel. I like that one. Uh, I like the books Bryant's. I like Amazing Worlds. John, hey, Ellis, and up. I like a lot of y'all, uh, your channels. But, uh, yeah, a lot of, some video, like, I like those comedy video game channels. All right, uh, 14, what's your favorite musical or play? I don't, yeah, I don't like musicals. I don't like plays. So, sorry, it's not my thing. Uh, 15, what's your favorite place you've visited? My favorite place I've visited... There's something about because my grandparents used they well my mom still lives there but um, uh, grandparents lived in a place just off of Tampa Bay it's called Dunedin Florida that's where the Blue Jays have their um, have their um, spring training just outside of Clearwater and Dunedin was it still is I still go back there uh, to visit mom but it's fantastic there's just something about that's where you know we always. Dunedin was that haven because grandparents were down there in the winter. And we'd always escape the Minnesota uh, cold for about a week, two weeks. Go down there. Um, yeah, there's just something about that. Go see the manatees at Safety Harbor. Go to Bush Gardens, Disney World. Um, go to Clearwater Beach. All that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, Dunedin, Florida is probably, is probably my favorite place. Just something about that. Just that, and then that smell. If you if you want to, my another favorite smell of mine is that that ocean smell that uh, you get when you're in those places, those tropical places. Um, all right, who do I tag? Okay, well, so I would love to tag a few people here. Um, uh, first of all, uh, Becky and Scott, Bookish Bryant. Let's. I want to hear about your favorite things. Let's. Let's hear, let, let, me, let me hear some of your favorite things. Um, uh, hey, y'all, listen up. John. John, I'd like to do this tag. This would be cool. Uh, who else? Um, I know you don't do tags anymore, Jose, but if you could find it in your heart to do this tag, Jose over at Amazing Worlds, I'd like to hear some of your favorite things. Um, oh, boy. Who else? Oh, uh, Mindy. Uh, Mindy's reading journal. Mindy, I'd like to hear some of your favorite things. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Becky, Booklectic. I'd like to hear some of your stuff. Uh, I, you know, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save some other people for other people too, so they can tag them if they want. Uh, but yeah, so I've got what I counted like five, six people there. Five, I think. Um, I will uh, tag them down below the people who I have said. All right, y'all have a good one, and uh, hope to uh, see this tag blow up and. Go places because, yeah, I'd like to get to know some of your favorite things.